Okay, thank you for coming back to Bridge Boy 513. Today we are going to completely demolish the old bunker. We're going to play some good Mexican lowrider music inside of it, get it to jump up and down and bounce and bounce and bounce, and that's what you're going to like. I'm going to give it to you good and clean, right here on Bridge Boy 513. Bridge Boy 513. Day seven, welcome back to Bridge Boy 513. We're gonna get that interior conveyor belt running and we're gonna start digging again with that gigantic jackhammer and get through that rusty layer and see what's on the other side of that. Now if I'm lucky, in a few hours from now I'll be able to create a new stilt or pedestal for me to lay that jackhammer on its side so that I can push the jackhammer in horizontally and cut higher up on the hole instead of constantly digging down because that jackhammer is like 80 pounds I want to dig horizontally so I can begin to dig up and by digging up I can dig that first domed room and then create a place to set a television, a refrigerator, a couple lounge chairs, a couch you know the stuff that you need just to relax so first thing we got to do is get the lights going okay lights are running now we're gonna turn on the Exhaust fan. Okay, so now the exhaust fan is running. Now I didn't get to show you how I finished off the exhaust. So there she is, complete. She's also been camouflaged. Now I have some filter material that I'm gonna just set over this. You see, I painted that a little bit so it's not so bright and shiny. And now that she's running, I'll take this ventilation material set it over the opening and that'll give us a slight filtration keep some of the sand down okay so that's a little filtration on there not a lot but a little so now we can get back in here oh yeah feel the air that 220 fan is going to be moving a lot more air than the fan that we had last time and be able to see that pretty dramatically here more air okay so very clear that we're moving a lot more air in there now now we got to get this rat nest out of here get it removed that's the very next important thing that we got to do so if I'm lucky we'll get to see that little creature and some babies come scurrying out of there Move this conveyor belt in reverse. Hopefully, if anything is in there, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna move you. I hope. Definitely active nest. I'm gonna scare them out so I don't get squished, stinky body. 
Stay there now. Okay, so I disturbed that nest as much as I could. Just gonna go ahead and turn on the conveyor belts, let this thing cycle through. And if there's any living creatures in there, they're gonna get smashed and it's gonna- Okay, I forgot to mention, see that cavity behind me right there? That's the first cave in. I got a light in there. I'm gonna show you that next time. It's gonna stink just like a year and a half ago when we did this and it was so smelly. So let's go ahead and get this stuff going. Plug in the outer conveyor. Okay, she's going. I'm gonna turn on the interior conveyor. This handy mechanical switch. Ready? Here we go. You see all that dusty air? Hell of a lot of dust. Lots of debris coming out of that conveyor. The whole tunnel is now filled with smoke. What's on the bottom of the conveyor is coming out like refined powder. So I'm going to just let this cycle get out of the hole for a little bit. Time has come to break out the jackhammer. I haven't made a pedestal to set it on, so I'm going to have to manhandle it. Just try to get as much of this high rock out as I can before I totally wear out.
So as you can see, this is gonna take me a few hours. So I'm gonna dig all the way through Christmas. Hallelujah. And when you come back, hopefully you'll see the first room that we've created just past this point. So we've been successful at bringing all the systems back to a fully functioning order. And I'm gonna continue digging between now and the first of the year. So you stay tuned, don't you go anywhere, and share these videos and tell everyone, Bridge Boy 513 is digging one more time. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Say, say what it means.